Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain you about cantilever truss which is loaded and supported as shown. So here we are going to calculate the loads of this P value and force in the member AC. Okay, so this is the truss. So for this truss, first we have to draw the free body diagram. So here this is the free body diagram and we have to find the force in the member AC and the force of magnitude which is given is 3 kN in the member AC. Okay, so here I am passing the section MN. Okay, I am cutting the section here MN so that here it is AC and DC and DF. So these are the section passing MN members. So in this case we need not to determine the support reactions because the force in the member AC can be determined using method of sections. Now I am considering moments, taking moments at D. Sigma MD equal to 0. We know that equilibrium condition Sigma MD equal to 0. So here FAC force in the member AC FAC into perpendicular distance the moment formula is force into perpendicular distance we know that so FAC into perpendicular distance is 2 meters so FAC into 2 which is clockwise direction and next this P force so P into this distance is from this point to this point it is 1.5 why because this total distance is 3 meter half of the distance is 1.5 so force is P and perpendicular distance is 1.5 from point D so P into 1.5 like that from this P P into up to here from here to here it is 3 meters from here to here I mean here to here it is 1.5 total 4.5 so force into perpendicular distance is 4.5 so after solving this 2fc equal to I am considering this equation I mean I am sending this equation to right hand side so minus 6p so fac equal to minus 6p by 2 that is minus 3p okay so minus 3p is nothing but the force in the member fac which we assumption as tension so which is away from this joint so our assumption is correct minus is away from the joint and next as the force in the member is 3 kilo newtons we know that in the question we mentioned that force of magnitude which is 3 kilo newtons in the member AC so force in the member is 3 kilo newtons so FAC equal to 3 kilo newtons and that equal to 3P okay this minus is nothing but tension so no need of no need of mention that minus so FAC equal to 3 kN that equal to 3P. So P equal to 3 by 3 that is 1 kN. Now we got the values FAC as 3, P and P value is 1 kN. Like that we are going to solve this cantilever truss as loaded and supported. I hope you understood this. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.